What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. Today I am in this strange hallway here, and yeah, let's say things are a bit awkward because, see, I'm here just walking around and the blocks somehow start to become bigger and bigger and bigger. What the hell is that? I mean, I can't even walk around and it's just smaller there. This is awful. However, once I'm here, this is probably the biggest uh, size that I'm going to reach because, yeah, these are actual Minecraft blocks. And what I'm, what I was showing you, was tiny blocks in vanilla Minecraft. Well, this has already been possible um, since the adding of armor stands, and many people, for example. Simply Sark or MC Labs 15 have showed us how to create them. But what I have for you today is a filter for MC Edit that makes creating these tiny structures a lot easier. This filter was provided by Lockstone, thanks to you, buddy. The link to the filter download and his YouTube channel are in the video description. And yeah, so using this filter, you can generate tiny structures of any size or of four different sizes and let's first go into the theory how does a tiny structure work so first of all what we have is an armor stand these are the armor stands and you can give them a custom head for example let's say helmet see now they were this chain helmet let me just I do this now I don't have the slowness anymore um, this is now the chain helmet but what I can do as well is slash replace item at E radius equals to uh, entity no wait And then we can simply put a block there. And now uh, I and this armor stand have a block as the head. And you can do this with armor stands holding blocks in their hand as well. Like I'm holding a block in my hand. And the same you can do with armor stands. And you can define the rotation of their head and of all of their limbs. And you can make them invisible and without gravity as well. And this is what happened here. This is a small armor stand, which is even smaller than this one. And he's holding uh, an item in his hand. If I can, if I want to right dig it, uh, I will get the diorite. And yeah, so you see, um, he's just holding the diorite in his hand. You can do this with... Uh, the red wool here as well and it simply steals them from their hand so it's not visible anymore and these this is the same technique but with uh, armor stands that have the ones on their head and I can actually go into game mode 3 and this is a funny glitch you can actually see all of the armor stands you see uh, these are holding it in their hands these have it uh, these are bigger armor stands having holding it in their hands these are small armor stands with them as a head and yeah these are this is just the real structure over there and yeah so this only uses armor stands and you can can do some pretty awesome stuff with it but enough of great theory theory now sorry um, let's build something for some reason my sound is not working but that shall not stop us and let me just build any structure, for example, something with grass blocks and red wool. It does not have to be pretty, because I only want to show you how it works. And then what I'm going to do is put some of that here. And once we have that, we're simply going to save the world and hop over to MC Edit. 
So I'll just save and quit to title and load the world here. Can you see here we are? What we need to do is select the whole region that you want to convert into tiny blocks, hit filter and select shrink blocks. This filter was created by Lockstoneable, thanks to him. Yeah, I already mentioned that, but I need to give uh, all of the credit, of course. If you want to keep that structure, you should copy and paste it somewhere else first, um, because it's going to consume the structure when running the filter. But um, here you can choose the size. So if it's the head of a normal um, armor stand, you select head. If it's the head of a small armor stand, you select small head and so on. Then you simply hit filter. And you see, you get all of these tiny entities over there. And you can just hit save. And we just repeat this with a different size. For example, small handheld. Hit filter again, save. And this is basically everything that you need to do. You can, of course, move them and stuff. But I will just hop over to Minecraft again. And you see... Here we have them. Isn't it awesome? Oh, it, it's so great. I think I, I love it. I love the looks of it. You can uh, do lots of stuff with it. Uh, this one is a bit messed up. Um, yeah, because I use an old version of the filter, but Lockstone sent me a newer version. And yeah, so this is what you can do with it. Tiny structures in vanilla Minecraft using this filter. Very comfortable, very easy. Um, yeah, make sure to check out Lockstoneable. Make sure to download the filter and make your own creations with it. Make sure to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.